Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Zadari tribe, where our queen, our wonderful Isbeliza, is currently celebrating the fact that she, with the help of the king, Prickle, who we unfortunately lost to a Berina attack last time, and the help of her loyal sister Elsha, has managed to achieve the Rulers of the Savannah special event and has freed us to stay on this island for as long as we need in order to prepare our tribe for the journey ahead. However, we may not stay here as long as I originally thought, like a hundred days, because there's still so many freaking Barina! <sighs> A battle queen's job is never done. And so in just a moment here, Isvaliza is going to need to go and defend poor Nassi, who only has a couple days left to live, you guys. She's going to try to defend her and make sure that we don't lose this female elder, especially because she is pregnant with one of the four children that King Prickle was able to leave us. So Prickle did indeed die. May he rest in peace. He brought his wonderful ram horns into our tribe, and he also brought his big body, which is very good for defense and very good for attack, into the tribe as well. But he is now no more. He has left with us two children who have just been born, little Chevron, who has a fishing tail of all things. How adorable is that? Too bad these zebra don't eat fish, but look at her zebra stripes. Chevron, you look like those amazing chocolates that they sell during Valentine's that are always super expensive. So I've never had any, but you look amazing. But Chevron is here. And then here we have the young Prickle Prince. Zoku. So little Prickle Prince Zoku actually is a level three strength right now, which is fantastic. And I have high hopes that he will be able to help defend the tribe, but he is not the only one interested in defense. We also have his aunt right over here, the sickly Kuta, who really wishes that she could help out. She does have two strength, so she could actually do quite a bit of attacking with her ram horns if she was only able to. Uh, so we do have a few defenders of our tribe, and we do have the importance of like wanting to make sure that this next generation of babies, whoever Nasi and whoever Zuzoali, uh, who is actually the daughter of Isvaliza, it, whoever they're carrying may be finally the rise of some sort of success to our Zadari tribe and we might finally be able to start making some progress and some headway. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to do here. I'm going to let Zuzuali gather up this food before the bundles still it all. And then I think that Zuzuali is beginning to realize that it may be the bundles and it may be all of this grass that is actually making it so the Berinas are able to sneak up on them. So we want to take care of them for sure. All right. And then over here, we do have Zafir. He does not have very many days left to live, but he has been quite diligent at just trying to... Who is that? It's one of the rogues! Get away, you naughty guy! But he has been quite diligent at trying to make it so that we can see more of what's going on on this side. Little Anamila is finally old enough to be able to help out with that too. And Lara Nona is our only male who's not immediately about to die. He doesn't really have any useful genes, but he can, he can at least have babies. And at this point, that's kind of the only thing I'm requiring from my nichelings. Please live and have babies. That's about as far as I can I can picture things for now. Speaking of babies, <gasps> Nanuka! Oh, Nokuna, no! Okay, he's gonna need to run. I think his mother, Nasi, is going to be so frightened and upset trying to defend him. Let's go ahead and take these things apart. And we're gonna have the two sisters, our warrior sisters, step forth. Oh, but we have to have one stay with the baby. All right. Elsha, you stay with the child. Do your best to defend them. And Isvaliza, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die, don't die. Please don't die. Oh, the babies. Zoku, I think that he would want to do what he can, but he can't attack until he is much older. Ah, okay. Chevron, go over to your, your like, I don't even know the relationship at this point. Your, your aunt cousin? All right. Oh, 
I don't want this to be how the queen ends, but she has already won us the title of like a battle queen hero and she's already won us the ability to stay here for as long as we need. <gasps> no! Our pregnant female Nasi! Little Nokuna just saw his mother torn down in front of his own eyes. What kind of cruel world is this? Kuta has jumped forward. Nokuna is here. Oh, Lara Nona always secretly had a huge crush on Nasi too. So he's going to jump forward and at least try to like defend the baby to some extent. Ah, these freaking bugs. You know what? Lara Nona would be really scared. He can't attack because he doesn't have ram horns. Uh, but he would be really scared and until he is physically assaulted by this terrible Berina, he won't like be bitten. I imagine when the nichelings who don't have ram horns do get attacked. It's like when a lion or a wolf will grab onto the leg of its prey. Uh, but oh my gosh, that's not happening yet. So he can't attack him just yet. But I do think he would gather up what bravery he had left to try to defend the little Nokuna. Oh geez. Oh, drama. Zafir, we're gonna probably need that that food soon, so I'm sorry, Zafir. I know, I know, you're sickly and I feel badly for you, but this is just the way things are. We're gonna clear things away. Anna M Miela can at least clear some things away. I feel so bad for Zafir. I kind of want to feed him that. Uh, I do kind of want to feed that to him. What does he have? Yeah, he just doesn't have very many useful genes. Ugh. Oh, and Anamila, you don't even have any ability to do horns. You're short-sighted. My dear, clearing the grass away may be the best we can ask of you right now. All right. Meanwhile, we need to go ahead and have Zuzuali give birth. She also needs to keep an eye on the other babies who are nearby. Make sure that they don't get eaten in the moment. <gasps> Kalbien! A new queen has come! What is this nonsense? Someone get this beautiful female into the tribe now! Elsha, invite her in! Oh, are you kidding me? Look at her! Calvian has wandered in! It's suddenly a tribe full of females! We began with a tribe full of males and now look where we have gone! Kelbeline! Kelbeline! Kibeline! You know what? I'm going to rename her a little bit because that's a little hard to say. Uh, Kel, Kel, Be, Kel, Be, In, Kel, Be, Kelba, Kel, Be. We're going to call her Kelba. Kelba has joined us. She's got the savannah horns. Oh my gosh. She is short sighted, but she has big ears for heat resistance and hearing. This is fantastic. I can't believe this sudden swerve. Oh my gosh. Please, I think, can she mate with Zoku? She can't mate with Zoku! Cruel world, why? Okay, okay, we've got this. And Isvalija, as the warrior queen, would jump up to add what she can to the defense. And Kel Kelba, having just walked in and found the entire tribe in such a pickle, has joined. But look, there's three ram horn, there's three horned ones! Three horned ones and a horned one boy! <gasps> Suddenly, life is not looking quite so dire. Oh my gosh. Elja can even gather up some of the, the digging roots. Holy cow. How is this going to end, though? <gasps> the sickly one has been attacked. Kuta, fight back. Oh, she showed what she had to offer. <gasps> you guys, Kuta has destroyed another berry. No, my gosh. <laughs> another marina has been destroyed. Let us celebrate with a feast with the warrior queen who has found, no doubt, a, a new horned one. Look at her. Kelva, you are beautiful. Oh my gosh, am I ever happy to see you. What is this down here? Zakar. Look at Zakar. Toxic body collecting, cracking baby boy who has ram horn recessive, heat body recessive, the mix of genes these babies are is just astounding to me. Oh, I'm so sad they didn't have their fourth sibling from Prickle. But these are the three children, the princes from Prickle. We only have Zoku, who has been lucky enough to get the ram horns. But I think his mate will be Kelba. 
because between the two of them, we might finally, finally have a permanent source of horns, which would be amazing. And Kuta, actually, if you could live, you could actually be a great mate too. Well, you have antenna recessive as well. Oh, wow. What a twist! <laughs> We're still starving to death, but what a twist! Okay, guys. Zephyr is on his final day, unfortunately. Uh, that is quite sad. We do have Anamila. I think I'm going to start bringing the family more towards over here, clearing this area out and trying to defend it very actively. So Anamila, I'm going to have you. Oh, you can dig there. There you go, little girl. Got to keep all of the babies safe. So I do feel like uh, Zuzali would want to keep all of the little ones very safe and call them all to her. There we go. Come on, come on. Is that the rogue? Stay back, you rogue. Let's see. And then we're going to start clearing away the grasses to try to keep them uh, protected. All right, what else do we have? Anything that we can dig up? We do not have anything we can dig up. We have a rogue way too close for comfort. Uh, way too close for comfort for sure. Let's see. Elsha, I'm going to let you go ahead and clear. No! Poor Princess Suzali. Oh, that's such a tragedy. Oh, well, I mean, on the one hand, it's nice to have babies, but they're not going to be ram-horned babies, which only exacerbates the issue. All right, and speaking of babies, Laranona, you're kind of the only male of age right now. But alas, you cannot... I mean, you have toxic body, B and I immunity. I mean, I think Kelva is best off getting pregnant right now because we're waiting for the prince to grow up and that's going to take a long time. So I think that finally Laranona may have a mate and maybe, yeah, I think that there's enough time that the warrior queen too may want another child. And Laranona, he has seen many of the strong and successful females of this tribe rise again and again to the occasion of trying to defend the one another, of protecting one another, of protecting their food source, and he has seen to his awe the warrior queen herself arrive. So he will go ahead and offer up his nimble fingers. Ooh, cracker jaw, cracker jaw. Is that better? Let me think about this. Mm, probably. I'm going to go ahead, He, in, in honor of actually Nasi, the female who protected this tree and gathered so much food from it, I think we're going to go ahead and give him Cracker Jaw because I think he has never forgotten Nasi and Cracker Jaw may be his way to try to remember that. Um, and then let's go ahead and get, I can only do collecting and cosmetics. Let's give him stripes to try to get more stripes into this group. And then we're going to have... Kettleba, what can you do, my dear? I wish I could give you normal eyesight so badly. I'm going to give her stripes and stripes and I can't give her claw because that's offensive, but I can give her nimble fingers. Would nimble fingers be good? Yes. Would cracker jaw be good? I don't know. Maybe? Actually, like Nimble Fingers has more use though. So I'm gonna give her Nimble Fingers and we'll just have one with Cracker Jaw and Stripes. There we go. All right. Oh, okay. Can anybody collect these nuts? <laughs> Only a little Nokuna and well, he ages up tomorrow as long as he stays alive. So that would be good. Um, oh gosh, Zephyr, you know what? Do I have anybody injured? I do. The queen is injured. Her sister is injured. But they might live a long time. Zephyr has been such a helpful boy. He doesn't really have very helpful genes though. G and G immunity. He can't mate with her. Can't mate with her. Hmm, but he's so pretty. Ah, uh, so frustrating. I mean, he could mate with Anna Leela, but I, I just don't know, guys. Alright, you know what? I feel badly for Zephyr. I'm I, I let him eat it. I let him go ahead and eat it and he'll do a little more adventuring. I, I probably shouldn't have done that, but we have another healing fruit down here. And I just feel like Zephyr has got the short end of the stick for so long. So, all right, let's go ahead. And I think that Laranona will honor the warrior queen with his praises. 
and then come down and also honor this new queen, Kelba, who has now appeared. Kelba, with her very bad eyesight, is no doubt grateful to find herself amidst so many new niche links. We're going to go ahead and let her kind of clear a few things away, maybe crack that open. And uh, is Valiza? You can go ahead and clear that away. There we go. Just the babies left. Wonderful. Wow. Okay, I feel good. I feel good about Zephyr too. I might let him come and maybe even clear out some of the swampland so we can see. Oh, don't you get anybody sick? No! I knew I shouldn't have. Oh, oh, this is terrible. Oh, your majesty. Please don't die, your majesty. Oh, what have I done? Dang it, Kuta! Oh no, Kuta! And you're still wounded! Oh jeez, alright, well your sister will- Okay, we're gonna have Lara no Nona try to make the best of this situation. He needs to back off so he doesn't get anybody sick. Kuta, dear, like, that was not a good thing. Not a good thing, not good timing. We need food! We need food stat. Oh, thank goodness. No, Kuna. I'm so grateful that you grew up to be able to get food. And Amila, you can only find roots. Why? Why? Okay, I'm gonna send her down here. Oh, geez. The queen- No! Get away, you awful rogue! Zazula doesn't even have- Zazuli doesn't even have the ability to fight you, you jerk. Oh, she can- she can crack things open, though. All right. Elsha, you go ahead and defend the babies. No, no, no! No, no! Elsha! Elsha, you don't have any way to defend yourself from this rogue! This is terrible! Okay, quick. Gotta do a quick swaparoo. But her majesty is sick! She can't stay near the babies! Kelba! Alright. Swap! Kelba, get over here! No baby stealing! You can't have any of these ones! These two mothers are keeping their eyes out. Zazula is already pregnant, you jerk of a rogue. Alright, we've got to defend ourselves from these bunnels too. They are way too dangerous. Look at that! Look at that bird! I mean, it looks like it's going for the bunnies, but it could just as easily be trying to go for our babies. Oh, drama. Uh, and our queen... Alright, our queen we're gonna go ahead and send down here. Please, 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 healing fruit, please. No, the healing fruit doesn't have any new fruit on it! <gasps> Oh, and I'm out of food? Oh, Zephyr. Forgive me. Forgive me, Zephyr. We desperately need food for the tribe. And you, uh, you, you as the sickly young boy, are, are contributing very important genes that way. Oh, this has been, this has been quite the event. Oh my gosh. Go away, bird. You cannot eat my babies. All right, guys. This is getting kind of intense. On the one hand, the queen is now expecting another child. On the other hand, we have to conquer this land. And I think that's something she's really driving home to Kelba. If we, and Kelba is fantastic because she just immediately came in to help save the babies like twice now. If we are going to be able to protect this herd, to grow it into some semblance of a zebra herd so that we can move on and search for the great horned protector in the ice ages, then we need to survive. And to survive, we need to claim areas that have food and we need to conquer the landscape so that we can keep down the bunnel population and so that we will be able to make sure that the Berina cannot sneak up on us in the shadows. So all right, my friends, lots of twists, very exciting. Hopefully we can keep Prince Prickle alive. <laughs> he is so young, a couple more days and then he'll be big enough to start helping us. Oh gosh, and this has just been constantly like on my toes. I love it. If you guys could, do please leave a like for the wonderful nichelings and all of their little babies, the Prickle siblings that we have just had. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.